Okay. You know, I'm gonna level with you. I'm gonna level with you. I don't know, uh, I don't know how well Mixer's working, but... Unless my two videos pop up, then I think I've lost them. Which is a real shame. Because I had about two hours of fucking footage that you would have very much liked to see. I don't even know if this is recording right now. Let's let's make sure it is before. Fuck, god damn it. <clears throat> and boom. And here we go. What's this? Where am I spawning into? Oh. I'm gonna ride some girl like I'm riding this here horsey. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's this, you ask? Well, my friends, this is a fucking nightclub. So actually, no. You know what happened? It was actually pretty fucking ridiculous. It, uh... <sighs> yeah, it was, it was actually kind of a bummer. I filmed the whole setup to this. Like, buying the business. All this stuff. And... Apparently, Mixer failed to record any of it. So... It lost me doing the setups. It lost me buying the business. Lost all my colorful commentary along the way, and I, fuck if I know how I'm gonna, how I'd possibly refund that, so. Hold on. Now I don't even know if the party is going, Let but yeah. Work my magic. Fuck if I know how I would possibly get any of that back. I mean, let's make sure that the party has actually got some audio going right now. Otherwise, otherwise, what's the point of this video? Because the fucking last two work so well. Whatever. I'm just going to assume it's working. But yeah, this right here, people. This is the nightclub in action. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see a lot of the, uh, a lot of the setup for this. But basically, here's the deal. Here's your private office. All the swanky shit. Little VIP room so you can look over the club. And two offices. Obviously, one for you, and one for Luis Lopez over here. Now let's see. So, despite not being able to show you all the bullshit Tony said, at least for the meantime, hopefully those videos will in fact pop up. I can show you what it looks like and tell you how much it costs. So basically it's in foreclosures, obviously. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from. They range in price, but they're all about a million. You know what? I did not see that West Vinewood Club at all when I went to do this, nor the downtown Vinewood. I did not see either of those. What are you going to do? And all of them have some reason of, like, some kind of fucked up little, like, this is terrible. I guess the, I don't know. Yeah, like the interstate trip. But yeah. 
I'm pretty fucking bummed. Lost all this initial footage of, you know, buying all this and setting it all up, which the cutscenes are hilarious. Like, it's definitely worth buying, because turns out there's more to this place than just, uh, just being a nightclub. So you can deck it out with however, whatever style you want, the regular style, the fancier, or the fanciest. Light rigs, you can change them however you want. You can put, uh... Ooh. Okay. Okay, sure. Those look pretty sweet, too. That's cool as well. Did not realize that these videos were actually going to work. That's pretty dope. All that jazz. And then, of course, you can change the nightclub name to whatever you want. You know, take your pick. I think Tony's Fun House. I wouldn't use Tony's Fun House in, uh, in real life, but in this universe, I think he's made enough of a name for himself. This right here, though, this is where you're going to spend most of your money. Each of these costs, like, almost a couple hundred thousand dollars. I think I actually would have saved money had I bought that at the time because that seems like more than it was but whatever um you can store stuff from your other businesses here people and you can send out workers to go get you shit for your other businesses as we're going to explore right now actually because uh i want to see what's up But yeah, that's the, um, those are the renovations. The whole thing cost me about $4 million when I had uh, a couple extra. I have all four garages, and I have all four, uh, I have four out of the five floors. Um, oh, the wall safe. <laughs> oh, there's just one stack of cash. <laughs> it's two. That's pretty funny. Okay. I did not mean to take that, but... Okay. I'll take that 10 Gs. Hmm. So I don't even know... If any of this is recording, because I haven't been able to even see it. online okay so it did finally pop in online i'm going to assume that it has all been recording very successfully and it's just uh and it's just being dumb because so many people are trying to stream i really don't know what the fuck to think honestly i'm pretty bummed that i lost all that footage of earlier basically it wasn't much though i mean so i basically did a uh What the fuck? What is the point of this? And also, how the fuck do I get downstairs? Oh, the elevator. He said there was an elevator. Not that I have any clue where it is. But yeah, so I mean, basically, what? let's see what happened. First, it was, uh... Is this just garages? What's the point, then? I don't know. Basically, you had to... First, you went in and did the cutscene, and then you had to get your head bartender and head bouncer... Oh, fuck yes.
So hopefully I haven't missed out on all of this footage. Oh, fuck yes. Sweet. All right, cool. So hopefully I haven't lost everything. Basically, you just missed the two setup missions where I had to go and get dancers somewhere, and then I had to go get the DJ who crashed his plane and then just drive him back. But, um, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Now we're over here just chilling. Sorry. I'm a little stoned, and I thought it, I thought it was all for naught. I was over here like, damn, I'm just going to have to show them the website. But look, look at all this new shit to explore. Okay, well, uh, let's go see what this technician has to say. It really wasn't too much, but it is a couple cutscenes okay, of Laszlo being to dumb. Management for the internet banking age. In my day, you did this with a rotary phone and some chutzpah. Now it's graphs, clicks, and metrics, and you'll know you're broke and washed up before anyone's even walked through the door. Thank you, Dad, for taking the joy out of life. If you've got half a brain, you'll know what's happening just by walking around the place. But this home screen will show you the club's popularity and the warehouse's stock in nice, in nice, easy to understand easy charts, to understand like charts. you're an idiot like or an investment banker. banker. For, the club, For the club, popularity, popularity means popularity feet are coming through the door. door. There's cash in the hills, and, and everyone's happy. For the warehouse, For the warehouse your techs will your push your other businesses, your other businesses to generate illicit, generate illicit goods, illicit. and they'll all get they'll stockpiled, all get stockpiled in, here. in here. Your whole criminal they'll empire under this one roof. The techs do the work buying, stealing, or producing, and all you need to worry about is selling the stuff offloading illegal product illegal and bringing in nice, in legal, nice laundered legal laundered cash. cash. All right. Come through to the nightclub management nightclub tab and you'll see some more numbers if that's your kind of thing. But more importantly, you can run promotions for the club by hitting, you guessed it, promote club. The staff, the DJs, me, we'll all be doing everything we can to run a banging night. But to get the buzz, increase popularity, and bring in cash, we'll need to promote it. Run a job and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. Here's where you book the talent. Any DJs Dave is talking to will show up here. Then you can choose who you want in residence. Solomon's all we've got right now, but from the way the crowds are going for it, he might be all we need. Check back here soon. Then this is the warehouse page. You'll see any and all of the illegal businesses you own registered here. Assign a warehouse tech to the product you want to stockpile, and they'll use your established network to bring that in. At no additional cost or effort to you. You've got one tech at the moment, but you can hire additional people for additional products on this page, too. Okay. Mm. This is the upgrades page. Improve security or modernize some of the equipment downstairs. Whatever you need to increase productivity. Hmm. Damn, that security is bank. All these are fucking bank. Guess this costs a bit more than I hoped. But what are you going to do? Woo! One, two, three. And now to the sell page. Your text will get hold of the product, but you've still got to sell it. 
Either sell one product at a time or offload all your stock. Or if you want to make some real money, top buyers will have specific shopping lists of products and they'll pay a premium if that whole order is filled. Most of the money goes to you, some goes to the club, of course. And that's about it. Good luck. And remember, I didn't know any of this was going on. I thought I could, like, sell Coke here, but whatever. Interesting. The night, the nightclub, the safe only holds seventy thousand dollars. <laughs> okay. How much does that cost? One hundred and forty-one thousand. Oh. Well, now I feel dumb. Oh, shit. No. I'm so dumb. No, 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 no. Fuck. Wow. I'm a, I'm a silly bitch. I have two technicians for no reason. Oh, my God. Well, whatever. What are you going to do? Fuck. Well, all right then. This looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. What's up, mechanic? Just hanging out down here? You're my guy? Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, now this is fun right here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna fucking make this. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Map black everything. Mounted. F Okay. Hmm. 
All right then. Fucking got me a sick little, sick little delivery van. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How do I? I'm already almost at. What is that? Nine million. Rough. Very rough. I feel dumb spending that extra 600k on those two technicians, but hey. This shit right here, I'm probably going to buy. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well, that's, that's about done it. I mean... Oh, yeah, right. I didn't show these off before I go. Yeah, I mean, look at these things. There's these two trucks right here that are both absolutely absurd. And then um, in Motorsport, there's the Swinger and the Jester Classic. This thing is nice. And then I think that's pretty much it as far as new vehicles go. But, uh, yeah. This is um, this is a dope update. The, the cutscenes, hopefully, they'll come in, and uh, you'll be able to see how we got all this nightclub situation set up. But that's that's what the business looks like. That's how the business gets set up once you're done with all that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. Check out the channel, all that jazz. If you want to see some other stuff, maybe subscribe if you're feeling into it, or not. You know, either way, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get out of here. See what it's like to promote this club, maybe. Yo. So I can get weed. Just stocked way the fuck up. And not have to worry about it. And I think I'm gonna do that. And also meth. I don't know. We'll see. I'm Ron Ergy. Thanks for stopping by. Go well, fuck yourself, San Diego. I'm getting shit on the back. Peace.